Hi guys, it's Alex here from Art of Smart. Um, I thought I would give Rich a little bit of a break today off the camera. Uh, so as you can see, we're up in North Yorkshire at our Borough Bridge project. Uh, this is it behind me. You can see it's still a work in progress. We actually came here just before Christmas, um, but it's moving on really quickly now. Inside, um, there's a very, very high spec. You will have seen if you've looked on any of the social media, on the Instagram or the LinkedIn, um, that we've got two, a lighting panel, a blind panel, a rack going in, as well as all the power as well as the air source heat pump, which was a new thing for us as well. Uh, so yeah, absolutely amazing project. Um, down the side of the house, there is space, and that space is there intentionally because there is going to be an extension. Now, what we've done inside is we've actually done a massive pre-wire ready, first time round now. So as soon as that extension is ready to go from the client, it's already in. We're literally just going to be extending it out and across. One of the best things about working at this project, I would like to mention, is the client. Um, absolutely cracking. Uh, and they've given us a great opportunity here to do something really special in, in, in the uh, property. So the property comes with a full Luma CCTV system, which of course is eight megapixel. Uh, it's got the starlight vision on that as well, which basically gives you cracking night vision at the end of the night. It's full smart lighting and blind control. We've got the package Wi-Fi and network inside. Sony televisions throughout the property, um, which are controlled by HD Anywhere video distribution. That comes from MHub Pro 2.0. We've got 13 zones of triad audio, including the Atmos system in the lounge. Um, and of course, it's all controlled by Control 4. So if you'd like to come inside and I will show you what we've been getting up to. So we're inside one of the rooms now and inside here we have to start off with the termination box, which Drew did an absolutely cracking job on. You will have seen that on Instagram, looks beautiful. Obviously it's waiting to be labeled uh, and tested. Underneath, we've got the CA1 for the Control 4. We have a temporary 4G router, which will control the lighting um, whilst the house is being completed. Over here, we have uh, our blind panel and our lighting panel for the control across the house. Uh, and that is supplied by this Luden distribution board, as you can see above there. Uh, below here, we have left space, and that is where the control for the RGBW lighting will go. And then over here, we have the main distribution board from Luden. Uh, Mikey did that. Again, you will have seen it on Instagram, it looks cracking. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got two of our panels. Uh, we have the lighting panel and the blind panel. Obviously, it's got the DIN rail on there as well. Uh, the difference between these ones here, these are switched as opposed to the lighting panel. Obviously, they're dimmable. Uh, they are all indented up and they line up perfectly with the drawings done by our CAD designer, Danny. So shout out to Danny. Uh, on this side here now, you've got the incoming data cables and the outgoing, obviously that goes to the control four and allows control across the house. Uh, so yeah, basically on this side here, we've got the lighting panel and we're just waiting for the other two modules to go in there. Uh, we have our subboard here, which was done by me, obviously looks cracking. Uh, and this supplies power to the lighting panel and the control panel for the blinds. Okay, so we switched over sides now, um, so we can see our main incoming board. So as you can see on here, um, this again is a Luden board. This one was done by Mikey, absolutely cracking job. Um, you'll notice again, all indented up. Um, that matches up again with the drawings that were done by our CAD designer, Danny. Uh, and what that allows is if we do ever, ever, ever have any issues, anything's removed or disconnected by anyone for whatever reason, we know exactly where it's supposed to be going to. Uh, you'll notice on here as well that we have the surge protection and we also have our CBOs across the board. That is obviously because it's a smart home, there's a lot of very sensitive equipment attached to the system. And in case of any sort of fault, we wanna make sure that that's protected as well. So in the property, we have the ACO smoke, heat, and carbon monoxide detectors. Uh, throughout the lighting is column wood. On the back wall there, you'll see the C4 back box that goes behind the television. As I mentioned outside, that's gonna be a Sony TV. In the ceiling, you will notice that the speakers are already in place. Uh, and that is for the Atmos in here. So when you sit down, you've got it all around you there. Uh, on this side here now, down at the bottom, we have our sink box. You will have seen us installing those on Instagram. And then just up above it there, you have the sensor for the heating system. One more thing I would like to mention as well, you probably see around the property, we have these hanging down. These are for the Faraday motion sensors. And these are, again, throughout the entire property. So now we'll have a little look at the heating system in the property. On this side here, we have the controller for the air source heat pump, which is located outside. And if we switch over to this side here, we've got the contactors and meters underneath there. We've got the heat miser UHA control system. 
And you'll notice again, if you follow Instagram or you're on the LinkedIn, you will see that all of our stats have been put into here as well. Underneath there, you've got any of the isolated, any of the isolators that we need. Uh, and at the bottom there, we've got some data points as well. And that's for any future management. Okay, uh, so we have now given you a bit of an insight inside the building, inside the property of the kind of things that we've been looking at and the kind of uh, products that we've been using. Uh, so basically now we are waiting for the rest of the trades to sort of catch up to us so we can get the rack installed and start bringing the fun stuff in uh, for the client, things like the televisions. Um, we will keep you updated, uh, so make sure you're following Instagram, the LinkedIn and obviously YouTube, which I'm assuming you're watching this on, uh, and we will see you soon.